Ciao. Uh, you, 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 you definitely, you definitely on the All Star. You for one of the All Stars of the All Star team for sure. I definitely so, appreciate that love, bro. Man, you are, you are, you are one of the queens of the Malachi Empire that's been moving and grooving in ways many people still haven't figured it out yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's been that's been from the jump or whatever. <laughs> Uh, you know, you you uh, you know because of you, your your family as that was actually the first you know uh, family to be adopted into the Malachi Empire. You know what I'm saying? That's why we that's... always that's why we always run, run you know run praises around you guys or whatever like that. You know, as a symbol and an image of that for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, you you were definitely you were definitely one of the first to uh, actually start reaping the most benefits from the tax exemption. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Traveling. I, I remember you was so crazy. I'm like, hold on, man. Let me start using my shit, man. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, uh, oh, you use it at the dealership when I just got this last vehicle, too. Forgot to tell you that. Yeah, we had saw your video. Uh, from, the dude, from the dude that did it? No, no, no. Yeah. Saw your video. Oh, okay. Uh, not too long ago. So, you know, we just, we just purchased a new vehicle. Matter of fact, on the 19th oh. of, of October, so just a couple of weeks ago. And when we were in there, I, I have the audio recording because the, the sales manager who was signing off on the paperwork, he asked the, the guy who sold me the car, he said, it's no taxes on here. He said, oh, yeah, she's tax exempt. I gave him my tribal ID. He was like, oh, OK. That's all you, all you did is hit him with the, uh, the tri uh, tribal, tribal ID? Okay. Yep, that's all I hit him with. That's love, man. That's see, people don't understand that all that all those taxes add up on a on a you know day to day per purchase basis. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, especially when you're making a big purchase like a twenty five thousand dollar car. That was twenty two thousand dollars worth of taxes right there. Yeah, it's like you know. So when people when people come in and complain about you know the cost of products, the cost of services, you're getting this stuff back. You know it. You're getting this stuff over and over again. Over and over again, though, not just you, your entire family. Mm -hmm. So, man, let's get right into it. We gonna uh, we first let's get into let's get into the No Face No Case Act. <laughs> no face, so, no case. And, and actually, let me before before you before you show show and prove with it, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a um a docked up pho Photoshop version I have of it. So, okay. All right, no face, no case, y'all. You, I mean, you see, I'm in Photoshop, right? I want to make sure. This I is do. Version. Okay, you see the you see the blacked out version. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, so this is this is the uh, this is a, a photo of you know this particular uh, Indiana uh, state identification card. You know, those of you that's from Indiana, or if you guys just want to Google. Indiana driver's license. Just, just in case you guys don't know, Indiana pretty much has. If you have an Indiana driver's driver's license, it's all inclusive. You know, meaning it's both uh, accepted as your state ID and driver's license. Uh, if it's a driver's license, but if it's a state ID, uh, you know, it's just identified as a as a state identification card. But the only thing that that's going to change about it is this. Uh, I believe this little bird right here. So besides it, so if it was a driver's license, it'll have the. Um, a, like a little car right there mm -hmm. All right, so um so yeah uh this is this is uh the called a photo exempt identification and we it, it has a classification of restriction three so restriction three is what, it, what is what we call your status correction code in relation to the uh the bureau of motor vehicles all right um so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it off the share so uh we can actually see that it's real in real life because some people might be like, oh, that's photoshopped all the way around the board. So let's take it off the share. <laughs> so so she can show you the real deal is that's in her pocket right now. Okay. This it. Indiana. Identification card. Now now notice notice something very important outside of the fact there's no photo on there. It says not for real ID purposes. So mm -hmm. you have to understand what, what certain words mean. So if it's not for real ID purposes, that's telling you along with this photo, this restriction three photo exemption identification uh, status, that means that it's not, it doesn't fall up under those 
those um those guidelines within the real ID, you know, meaning that you're not waiving your religious, you have not waived your religious uh, rights within the application of the real ID. Correct. So that's the main purpose of this, you know, outside of the fact that once you sign off on uh, within the, the, you know, the Department of Bureau of Motor Vehicle uh, application to get a state ID or driver's license, and you take that photo and you let them take that photo and place that on that identification along with your signature. You're not letting you're not telling uh, affirming that that is actually you now. That that yep. is actually like so. This 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 person that has this this legal name is is this is also described this. as being this person, this face that's on this ID. Mm -hmm. that's, what mm -hmm. that's what they always use and need to really contract you, you know, on a contract by contract basis. It's always been about the identification. You know how they how they identify how they identify you. You know what I'm saying how they identify you will, will result into how they deal with you. You know or, or how they address you and how they respect you. You know so it, it's it's a lot of little things that's that's involved in the whole purpose and intent behind you know um, this whole thing. Because uh, let's go to the application real quick. You want me to get mine out? Cause you know I got it. Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm just gonna go to a blank one. I was gonna say I got the original. <clears throat> I, might, I might have you. I might have you flash it uh, in a second though. I'll grab it real quick just in case. Got mine ready to clean, bro. Okay. I also got my receipt from the BMV. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Where the hell? I'm going to put it on there. All right, so we should see the application there on the screen. Mm -hmm. Very simple application. Uh, I went over this so many times with people, but I, I I really don't think they really get what's going on here. See what what I what I realized that some of the main forms of areas of correction or within within us uh, the perspective of status is done through the Bureau of Motor Vehicles because they are. They are the central source that actually uh, that they use that the other corresponding, you know, um, organizations, government organizations and, and corporations use to identify you. That, that that that's that's their job is identification. Identification is the key. So this is where they tie everything together. That name with that with that Social Security number, with that driver's license number, all those things together. But, you know. There's always a way in. There's always a there's always a, a way out. So just like we went through this, we go through this simple form right here. It, it asks you, okay, what's your first, last, and middle name? What's your driver's license number? What's your date of birth? And it tells you section two, affirmation. It, it's also what a declaration, right? So it says mm -hmm. option one says I have a, I have a social security number. So this is where we kind of like you know some people might get confused because we're like, well, why, we don't want to say we have a social security number. Well, in this case, you do. Want to say if you do if you have been issued a social security number for this particular name that has a, that has a drive that has a driver's license already, then you're gonna you're gonna click. Hey, I have a social yeah because you're trying to correct something within the application of that social security number right here. So then it says right. option two is where is where you're saying yeah 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 I've been issued I have I, I I've been issued a social security number but I hereby I I now hereby. Um, swear and affirm that I sincerely held a, a religious uh, belief against the issuance of the social security number. So I'm going to hear option two. 
You see what I mean? And, and, and if we want to correct, so that so now we we so now we're correcting things with the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, your DMV, mm -hmm. and we're correcting things with the Social Security Administration by clicking here, and we're correcting things with the uh with the IRS or Internal Revenue Service by clicking here by by correct. by by submitting the uh IRS form forty twenty nine. <laughs> you see what I mean? And then it's, <laughs> I hereby swear uh, swear and affirm that I sincerely have a religious belief against taking a portrait photograph. Portrait photograph is very, we need to look up the definitions of these to really understand why this is important. That that photo, so we do things and we don't really know what it means. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I'll just take these pictures and boom, oh, just a picture in this. Yeah, this, oh, this is, is a picture. picture. Yeah, this is a picture of you. This is now you though. In, in the world of commerce, mm -hmm. this is now you. Because they can't deal, the corporation can't deal with you outside of a fictitious version of you, so they have to create it. You okay. know, they have to give it a name, have to give it a number, and they have to give it a face. Once they give them all, and 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 have to give, they have to give proof of your acknowledgement and, and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Because you still, you still like, you still like the creator. You know, so but people are not getting this shit, so yeah. And I hear, I hear by swear and affirm that I have sincere. Sincerely held religious beliefs against taking a portrait photograph. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm no, I'm not declaring that that's me on on a piece of paper or on, mm -mm. on, on this piece or on that photo. I can, I on can that photo body you giving me. Exactly. <laughs> I can only declare which, which is who whose property their property the government's property. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I can only hereby declare and affirm that I am me here in the flesh, in the body, and in spirit. That's it. You that's know, it. until until I affirm otherwise. You know, by way of contract. So we sign date and damn boom, we hit them with the, we we put everything up under the church. So we put you know what we put uh 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 we so put your name on the first line, but I did mark out member. I put your name because you're the minister, you're the head of it. So I marked out member and put minister. Right, right, right. So so my name yeah. my name go my name went right here, and then uh we use uh the Malachi Empire right here, even though we technically have two. Faith based, even though the church church is the uh eternal self ministries, but we use Malachi and Empire right here. And then just I signed off as the minister, dated it, boom, and then and hit it with the stamp and bow. Hit it with the stamp. That's all they needed. Stamp, <laughs> stamp, look, the three S's. I've been telling people this stamps, signatures, seals. Stamp, that's it. That's all you need. Seals. You know what I'm saying? That that that's yep. the language. That's the whole language there. You see what I mean? Yep. So, it sure is. You know, like I say, people are not getting it though. Now, now, even though when I when I when I presented this, you know, in different states and stuff like this, I used I used you know this Indiana State Form uh, fifty five nine twenty as an example, and I told people, yo, look this form up and study this form. But this is this this still leads you into the direction of finding the state form within your state. You see what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So now, once again, right here it says restriction three. So mm -hmm. let's go to the back of your ID, where it says restriction three, right here. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So it says restriction three, right here, and that is that is your status code right there. Restriction three photo exempt you know man the more the more people get this man the more the more the more of us would be free you know and 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 thing about it is like i said we did different scenarios but i told people the importance of it because you went in without having a state idea driver's license you know right so, so a person <clears throat> a person that um that had a driver's license already but without without updating to the real id uh it would have been as simple as them uh going in with this form mm -hmm. you know, and they would have did that right then and there yep they would did that right it's simple as that it would have been because you had to go through a process because you had to actually exactly. you, you was a first timer so you had, yep. to, you had to come in and you came in different you wasn't a, a, your typical first timer so you <laughs> you didn't present them a, a, a state birth certificate did you no so, so what, what was, what was your quick, what was your experience uh, as far as uh, even obtaining an identification in Indiana and in general? Because before this, you was completely privately and tribal. Completely. Um, first of all, the purpose of me 
obtaining this Indiana state ID was just to make a purchase for a vehicle. You know, all of their commerce systems and trickery systems are linked into each other so they can get paid off each other. Dealerships go through titling with the BMV, which ultimately falls down to you. I had no record with the BMV. So the titling department at the dealership was having issues or, or questioning how my vehicle was going to get titled. Um, now we know what I do, it's something different, uh, but I went, I got the, the ID. I had to take, because I've never been in the BMV system or because I got myself removed. Um, I took my Malachian Empire tribal birth certificate. I took my Malachian Empire tribal ID card, proof of address. I had my lease and um, um, my gas bill. And I do have a social security card and social security number. I took my social security card, but you just put something in my head because I think I'm going to go back and do it without the social security. But I did it with the social security this time. Um, just didn't have my photo. Um, those were all the things that I needed. Now it was a, it wasn't like a smooth selling because I had a tribal ID uh, and a tribal birth certificate both things that the representative that I was with had never saw before at the BMV. She had been there 20 years <laughs> wow. and she was dumbfounded, but they called downtown, um, I guess to the central headquarters. They explained what I did have and that I was not in the BMV system. The agent on the phone told her how to put it into the BMV system to accept it, how to put it as a tribal ID and also how to put my number three restriction and to accept my photo exempt um, form. I was in and out of there, I wanna say in about 20 minutes. It, it wasn't very long, but I'm sure it would have been a lot quicker had I already had an Indiana state ID or driver's license number and only went in there with this form to update it. For sure, yeah, it, 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 it was real quick. Like I said, I because I that's, that's what I did. And that's how, mm -hmm. I, that's how I learned that if you if you went, if you did the update, to the real ID. That's how I that's how I discovered what the real ID actually meant. Because, what it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. once you give them the form, they, they didn't give me like she talked to the manager real quick and they, they didn't, she didn't give me any it was like within three minutes they she was in a, on a computer tr trying to update you know my exemption and she was like mm -hmm. man the system the system will not allow me to go back. Uh, be, uh, it, and they, they say once you once you um once you become, <laughs> once it becomes a real ID, you can't mm. go back. So I say, oh shit, that's how, that's how I real, that's how I connected the dots with what the, what the intended purpose of the real ID, which to waive, because with the driver's license, you're already waiving what? The right to travel. So with the yeah. real ID, purpose of that is to waive your religious, uh, your religious rights. And that, that, that's one of the big, the greatest foundations of our rights that we stand on. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which which will make sense why majority of people's uh, religious exemptions wasn't are working. not working. Wasn't working. You absolutely right. You are absolutely right. There are a number of people who have real IDs who are telling their employers, yes, against my religion, but their employers are not accepting their religious exemptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they waive that. Mm -hmm. And you just said you just said this is your real identity ID. This is meaning this is the real you. And not the you that's inside your body, <laughs> you right? Correct. Literally, people really don't get. See, I think when we talk so simply, and we they think we're talking like we talking metaphors sometimes because you need to get something. You need to sometimes, get but, but this talking, is straightforward. <laughs> literally speaking, I, I really want people to understand. What we're saying we're literally speaking. If you, but it's hard for people to grasp that concept that the, the person that they're looking at on the ID is a person that mm -hmm. lives and resides and operates within a whole nother world that you see that you happen to be on, in the same fucking car in, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to, we have to learn how to separate those two, these two things or whatever, you know, the sooner that people realize anything that was not created by you doesn't belong to you and is not you. I think they will grasp it a lot quicker. I mean, at the top of this, it says Indiana. That's who created it. That's who this is. This is their construct. Period. That's it, you know. But at the same time, we're showing them the powers 
we sh- we showing them what what the direction to go in. We 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 are getting past. We are still navigating through the matrix system, right? Mm-hmm. But for our sake of our benefit, for a particular reason, for a particular things, while still maintaining control and protection of our own, you know, individual rights and stuff like that, you know. Correct. But, but but the majority of the things that you know that 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 we do, and I know that you and your family live by, you know, uh, you know, individually is like we we're utilizing things that we have created. This is our own creation. We're not, you know, what I'm saying this is not. Mm-hmm. We're, you know, so people are not used to, and then not the government agent, the government agents at the agencies are not used to it. You know, but once they go and start, once they go and start you making phone calls, that's that's because the 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 um the native tribes that they're used to dealing with, if anything, uh, you know, are still up under their construct. Absolutely, they're they're getting stipends every month or something from yeah. the government. They've contracted with them in some way, some form. They're still United States citizens. Mm-hmm. You know? So, so we we've done pretty much everything at this point, damn near under the sun, including you know uh, even being even having access to health insurance. You know, we got people yep. that, that that paid a couple hundred dollars and got you know, uh, you know zero zero everything down the middle for the whole year. The whole year. For the whole year. You know? So it just so <laughs> you pay premiums money. monthly, not monthly. If you got it coming out of your, your employer's check, it's every bi-weekly or, or weekly if you have it that way so exactly yeah if it's coming out of your employer check so yeah so, so all right so uh so you hit them with the birth so i, I now i want to i want to do a little research i want to do a FOIA or something <laughs> to see to see what how they recorded that that malachi birth certificate in their system i would love to see how they recorded it too now i can tell you that she went through the prompts on the screen because they want to know what country you're from when you uh, have a tribal birth certificate. And of course, mine said I was born in Indiana. They told her to just go ahead and put it in there. <clears throat> so she put my name exactly how I was on my tribal. Um, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Like that's I have no issue with that. Just as long as you don't have me as my picture and this name that y'all made up in all caps. As you see, it's all caps. Mm-hmm. And how I signed it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My signature signed it by agent. All rights reserved without recourse. Yep. Okay. I'm just the agent for yep. this. I'm just I'm just the authorized representative for this card. That's, That's all. It. That's it. For, for, that, mean, for that legal person. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> at, at the same time, see, they try to confuse people with the what country were you born in? You know. What? Now we're 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 indigenous aboriginal foreign, foreign nationals, right? Of 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 the corporation so we're foreign to the corporation just like the corporation mm-hmm. is foreign to us yep you know what i mean but but the corporation yep. was never really actually the country per se the country is north america absolutely you, you know what i'm saying so you know you know and they want to say usa which is not a country no <laughs> it's a corporation right. You know, and, and, and yeah, and, and within within that North America land, you know, in the area of, of Indiana, you know, that, that's it, you know. But even still, but you know, we supposed to be work operating off NAT coordinates and shit like that. So, but you know, for their entertainment purposes, you know, whatever they got to do, just as long as we, we we get things the way we need to get things, you know, not to yep. move. Whatever. That's what it's about. It's about learning how to wear the different hats that you that you control. You don't want to own anything. You just want to control it. Just want to be able to jump in and jump out when you need to. 